Hi there, everybody. My name's Katie Barlow, and I'm from the Lincoln Liaison Team at Lincoln University. Joining me today is Tim Curran, a senior lecturer in ecology from the Faculty of Agriculture and Life Sciences, who is going to speak to us about the Bachelor of Science majoring in conservation and ecology. But before we start, Tim, please take a moment to introduce yourself and tell us about what you really enjoy about your subject area and your role at Lincoln. Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Tim Curran, a senior lecturer in ecology here at Lincoln, and I teach into a number of ecology courses. I'm also the BSc coordinator, which means I provide advice to students uh, on which science subjects they should be taking. So I really love both of these roles um, as I get to teach students about New Zealand's amazing plants and animals and the environments that they depend on, as well as advising students on how to take the classes that will get them their dream jobs. I also do research here, and that's in the field of plant flammability, uh, which is a lot of fun and quite important in these times. Uh, that involves uh, simply throwing plants on our device that we call a plant barbecue and seeing how well they burn. Great, so let's take a closer look at the Bachelor of Science majoring in conservation and ecology. What can students expect to learn about? Sure, so the main things that students will learn about in the conservation and ecology degree is how to identify New Zealand's uh, plants and animals that determine the threats that they face to their existence and then work out best how to conserve them. Um, we also teach general ecology principles um, which are applicable um, throughout the world. Interesting, so what are classes like and is there any practical work involved? Classes are really fun and engaging, um, as you can imagine with that really interesting subject matter and there's lots of practical work. So we get students out in the field early and regularly. Uh, they do uh, field trips in every single one of their courses, um, in some cases um, several overnight uh, field trips. And this culminates in a couple of classes that we're really proud of here at Lincoln, which includes um, field ecology methods, which they do in their second year, which is essentially them learning how to identify and then survey all life around us. So plants, uh, birds, pest mammals, invertebrates, those sort of things. And then that um, leads into a third year class, uh, Advanced Field Ecology, where students go for a week long field trip up to the Southern Alps, up to the Lewis Pass, where they uh, study uh, plants and animals and, and collect data to answer a question of their own uh, devising um, and then come back to class and analyze those data and then present them um, in a variety of different forms. So it gives them a really neat early um, experience at, at hands-on research. That sounds really good. So let's say that I graduate with this qualification. What kinds of careers could I get into and is there a demand out there in the workforce? Yeah, so there's a huge demand for our graduates. And one of the re main reasons for that is um, just how well tr practically trained they are. Um, so a lot of employers know that when they get a Lincoln graduate in conservation and ecology, they're gonna be able to hit the ground running and get out and do the hands-on um, survey work that is often required in a lot of these jobs. So if students are interested in natural resource management jobs, we've got um, huge numbers of, of alumni now working for the Department of Conservation, doing various roles from, for them, uh, from sort of engaging with public, uh, with community um, through doing biodiversity surveys. We've also got students, past students who work for regional governments, so like eCanterbury and Environment Canterbury and other organisations, as well as in biodiversity officer positions in local government. There's other students who work for environmental consultancies and others sort of working um, as environmental officers in various industries. If students are interested in research or even doing further study, we've got a good track record there as well too. We've got students who are now uh, out in the workforce uh, working as research scientists, uh, working as lecturers, um, both here and, and overseas. Um, we've also just recently had uh, one of our conservation ecology uh, majors uh, just start his um, Masters of Conservation Management, Environmental Management, at the University of Oxford, um, having gained a prestigious Rhodes Scholarship um, to, to study there. So lastly, bearing all that in mind, there's some amazing jobs out there. 
Do you have any subject advice for students looking to best prepare for courses at university? Yeah, so for this particular course, there's no specific prerequisites. Um, just university entrance is all that's needed. Um, what we would suggest is that you bring your passion to this subject. If you do that, you'll do well in this subject. Of course, there's a few courses at, um, at high school level that you could take that might ease the transition a bit. So studying some of the sciences at school would be useful, um, especially uh, biology and environmental sciences. Mm. Thank you for joining us today, Tim. No worries. Thank you. And if you have any questions or would like more information, just ask your careers advisor to put you in touch with your Lincoln Liaison Officer. Bye for now. See you next time.